Hello everyone and welcome back to the X-Ring. I hope you're doing well this January day. Just getting back from SHOT Show 2024. It was a great show. Big shout out to everyone that came by and said hello. Uh, there are a lot of new products coming out that I'm not able to report on quite yet, but you guys will be seeing them in the near future, having to deal with long range, so really some cool stuff. So what the video is about today is the FN Reflex. So for the last four years, I've been carrying the SIG P365. This is kind of what started it all with your micro compact nine millimeters. Um, basically, you know, you've got 10 or 11 rounds depending on the mags that you're running and everything. And, you know, you had a high capacity double stack nine millimeter, and this has been a great pistol for four years. However, a friend of mine recently had just picked up an FN Reflex. And, you know, with a name like FN, you know, everything from making, you know, machine gun, belt fed machine guns like the Mini Me, which, you know, I guess I did a video on those, uh, to your scars, to, uh, you know, they, they've got a really long standing reputation for making a really good firearm. However, um, my buddy that picked one up right at Christmas, um, he was having some feed issues, so he had me shoot it, and there were some things I took note of, but I really liked the pistol. I really want to like the pistol. And so I did pick up the FN Reflex, just like you see here. Uh, price point on this is going to run around $600 without the dot. I just put a hollow sun, the EPS on here, and I put the Streamlight TLR7 sub on here, the GL model. And it works really, really well as far as the setup goes. Uh, you don't have night sights. You've actually got a big red dot sight on the front and just some white dots on the back. The size of it, incredibly small, very comfortable in the hands. Uh, you're looking at about 18 ounces or so, so just over a pound. You've got about a one inch wide slide. Your sight radius is right at five inches and you're about four, a third inches tall or so. But this isn't a striker fired pistol. This is actually a hammer fired pistol. Uh, the magazine, like it ships, it'll actually come with two magazines. One of them is an 11 plus one, so you have 12 round capacity. And then the other one is gonna be a 15 plus one, so you have 16 rounds. So having and that really small package makes it nice. It's a little bit longer than a SIG 365. And I really like the pistol. I like the texturing and everything else. But the more research I started doing into it with regards to malfunctions, the more I started finding online. So basically the issue is, is if you take, if you take a round, I think I have a round in my pocket here. If you take a round and you put it in here, now I know you're not supposed to ride the slide, but I'm gonna show you guys this up close. When it gets about right there, it hangs up, okay? And so you can always tap the back usually um, to get that out, but if you needed to clear this, and we did, let's say, a tap rack, you're locked, okay? And so you can't even lock the slide to the rear. What you have to do is drop the magazine and then rack it, and then you can get that round out. And so if you guys do a little bit of research, what I've seen is with these later pistols is you actually you'll notice on the extractor itself it's very squared off and what guys have been doing is they've been rounding it now for an edc pistol it has to work right we don't carry them for show I mean, when you need it you need it and this has been a little bit of a nightmare i've not reached out to fn about this i'm starting to see all of these threads on the internet about this thing having that same exact problem and you guys are going to see here in the video how many problems you have. Now, it doesn't matter whether you're shooting steel case ammo, brass case ammo like PMC or Sterling. The only time I don't have problems is when I'm shooting something like Spear Gold Dot, you know, full power plus P loads. But the problem is, is now I can't train with the pistol. So I wanted you guys to be aware of that. I'm still going to do a full review of the pistol. I've actually done some modifications to that extractor, uh, just radius that corner, and it actually runs a lot better, but you shouldn't have to do that at the end user, and most people are not going to feel comfortable doing that anyway. So let's go ahead and get on with the review. Okay, so we're going to start off at 10 yards just to print groups for accuracy. I will tell you that I was able to order a holster from Muddy River Tactical. Uh, they actually do a really good job with the holster. Uh, got it in this topo print. It's set up for the TLR7. Uh, really nice setup, and I did order the optional metal clips. None of the things that you're seeing today were given to me. They were actually purchased by me. I paid full pop for them. So here we go. All right, so... PMC bronze, not the most accurate ammunition, but slow fire, 10 shots. That works.
Okay, so like I said, not the most accurate ammunition, but not bad at all for an EDC Micro 9 at 10 yards. All right, so the 15 round magazine is nice. It does have this little slider sleeve. I've already checked it because if you ever run these before, sometimes when you're in a hurry, you'll pinch your hands. It doesn't really do that. So, you know, kudos to them for doing that with the magazine. Remember, I have modified this pistol. I'm going to show you some footage here from when I shot this yesterday before the modification. You're going to see how much this thing actually failed. I mean, like constantly, I knew this would solve the problem because when I looked at it, I was like, man, that angle is just too sharp. I don't know if it was just a bad extractor batch that they had gotten in. And, you know, as far as the hollow sun, guys, you know, you're looking at about $1,000 for this pistol. By the time you pay $600 for the pistol, you get the hollow sun for three and some change, and then you get the TLR7 sub. Um, you're looking at about $1,000, and it really needs to work when it needs to work. Guys, as far as the weapon light, you guys know I'm a huge supporter of Surefire. However, this one fit the pistol very very well and it works well you have buttons on both sides where we can just press it once and hold it and release and it's just a momentary if you tap it quickly now it's going to be a constant on and i highly recommend that you always have a flashlight either mounted to your pistol or at least one in your pocket that you could do something with at night because that edc pistol is only good if you have it on you and if something happens at night i think your likelihood of something occurring at night is going to be greater than the daytime at least statistically uh, somewhere between four and seven in the afternoon all right so we do have a loaded chamber indicator so i can look down in there and tell you there wasn't one in there so let me just go ahead and shoot a little bit faster on that one at the bottom and i think i've got five rounds in here let me do that actually we'll go from the draw position on that target here we go now okay so not bad except that one shot as far as the trigger pull the trigger pull is actually not bad you know a lot of guys complain that it is a little long but that first position you're just taking it up it's actually not moving the actual fulcrum of the trigger itself it's actually just moving that face uh, which acts as the safety take up i have the face now it breaks now we're going to release the reset is there and crisp again. I don't mind a longer reset on an EDC pistol. It doesn't bother me at all, and the trigger is actually pretty nice. You know, they say best in class. I don't know about best in class, but it's actually a pretty good trigger. So let me go ahead, and uh, we'll go ahead and shoot some steel. Let me move the other camera out of the way, and we'll check it out. All right, so we'll just go for the three steels here. And, you know, when you have three targets like this or something that they do a lot of times in IDPA and all that they'll say instead of double tapping each target what you're going to do is every everyone gets served one helping before they get two so what we'll do is we'll do one 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 that way you get around each target follow up with two in that one and work our way back to the left so we'll do this from concealment uh, under a sweatshirt just using that same holster and here we go Okay, so not bad. Most of those are centered up. You can see on the left target there, it's pretty centered about in the low center of it. So not bad at all. We'll try to speed it up a little bit. And here we go. All right, no problems there. How many rounds do I have left? I'm running a little short, so. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch over to the shorter magazine. Uh, I've got this in here. It holds 11 plus 1, so I've got 12 rounds. We'll just see how it runs on the steel plates. And here we go. A little more recoil. A little harder to control that muzzle flip with this shorter magazine, but it's not bad at all. But definitely not going to be as fast as that full-length 15-round magazine, just because it does flip a little bit more. Guys, the size and the way this thing shoots is great, but remember, this is after modification. This is after me uh, fixing that extractor. That's it. I really like this pistol, guys. Got two rounds in here. No issues there. All right, so what we'll do is we're going to try some steel cased Sterling 115 grain. Big shout out to Global Ordnance. Let's go ahead and see if this runs. Seems to run okay after that extractor adjustment. Um, 
worked perfectly and I know that stuff actually shoots pretty well on this uh, what we'll do is we'll take it out the distance uh, see if we can get some impacts at 25 maybe 50 and maybe even 100 yards with the pistol but like I said ever since I made that modification runs 100% you will not get that if it has that other if it, if it hasn't been modified and you're having that issue you're all, you will have a problem I promise all right got a malfunction with that steel cased ammo this is the steel case so it is jamming it's just a hair high Impact, 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 so three in a row, four in a row. Okay, so we're just going to do one continuous run here. I've got two mags on me. We are at about 25 yards right now. Let me just go ahead and see if we can hit a couple on this 12-inch steel. So 12-inch circle off to the left, no problem. And those are a little bit right, so I'd probably need to make an adjustment on this, but at least I kind of know where it's going to hit. I'm just going to do one continuous run. Uh, we'll go back to 50 yards. We are shooting the steel cased ammo. Let me check and make sure that you guys can see the target there. Yeah, I think you guys can see it. I'll just stand off to the right here. So 50 yards. Okay, so it's high, 50. There we go. All right, but definitely doable at 50 yards. Let's see if we can do this one-handed. Maybe not. Just a hair high right. There we go. So, good so far. Let's go ahead and move it on back. You know what? We'll just go on back to 100. And what I've noticed with these shorter pistols is they actually do seem to hit impact higher. Uh, if you've got a, depending on your zero, typically I'll run a 25 yard zero on a pistol uh, like this and I won't have as much issue. I know some guys are running like uh, an 18 yard zero for a red dot. Another thing I like about this pistol is the PVD coating. Guys, there's nothing like PVD for a everyday carry. Uh, I think it's better than, you know, Cerakote and some of that other stuff. Let me see if I can get this downrange so you guys can see it. I think we can see it there. All right, we'll see how we do. 100 yards, 12 inch circle. They're off right. There's an impact. All right, so that is it. That is the full review of the FN Reflex. You guys saw it. I had zero malfunctions with it, but yesterday was a different story before I did that modification. I don't normally talk about modifications or things like that because it's it's one of those things that most people aren't going to feel comfortable doing that. And I don't know longevity-wise how long that extractor will last, but either way, I think it's a great pistol if you get a good one or at least contact FN. I've read some horror stories where guys have been contacting FN and FN has been sending the pistol back saying there's nothing wrong with it. I can tell you there was definitely something wrong with this pistol beforehand i would definitely shoot this and carry this and this is what i'll be carrying from now on and guys whether you like it or not red dots are kind of the way of the future uh, everybody's running them they're making them so that pistols are very reliable with them you know not having to adjust spring rates or anything like that for the recoil spring they're being smaller they last for years as far as the batteries just remember maybe just change them on your birthday you do have co-witnessing iron sights because of the way this is mounted on here with the EPS2 or the EPS you can actually just see the top of your irons I think it's a great pistol I will continue to carry it one other thing I wanted to note uh, and show you is during the course of the time that I've been doing this is the through pin here on the grip is actually starting to work its way out you guys can see right there maybe in the light 
So these are some teething issues that I don't expect from FN. You know, FN is highly regarded in the industry. They make some of the best firearms around, but little things like this are aggravating. And I haven't taken this apart in any way, shape, or form, so that shouldn't be walking out, uh, but it definitely is. Guys, I hope you have a great week. We'll talk to you soon. We'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one. All right, so for those that stuck around a little longer, I just finished up the Gen 12 SBR. Uh, this is actually really awesome. I mean, it really is. I don't care what other semi-automatic shotgun you have. This thing is just phenomenal. All right, so you guys can check it out. Let me go ahead and get this adjusted. Let me get my dot on a little bit, and here we go. just phenomenal these guys these things just freaking run and run and run we'll go with a 20 round mag but I also put a happy switch on it oh that's a lot to hold but it works great gen 12 now i just got to get one of those huxworks 12 gauge suppressors and we'll be good to go you guys have a good one we'll see you on the next one